C K E T. And then are we done this full sentence? What are we missing? Good job. I think our teachers really appreciate the explicit guidance of reading instruction. It's allowed them to um, work together tightly as a team as we unpack our materials. And it doesn't matter if you're a novice teacher or if you're a brand new teacher, um, they really are pulling together and working together for the, for the success of our students. As we're jumping into Unit 1, what I'm really excited for is the link and the connection between the reading lessons we do that day, the word study lessons we do that day, and then it finally connects to the writing lessons we're doing at the end of the day. So for me, just having that connection through all three of those topics is just such a huge, massive bonus, right? It just makes the learning easier for these kids. Catherine? Uh, I remember when we read the book encounter and we were talking about this. I think encounter is to like me, to come face to face with somebody who you have like, you maybe knew or not know, but you just like came face to face and you encounter that person. I like that you built on that background knowledge of the prior, prior book that we read, and I saw a lot of people did that too, the book that we read. The kids are really enjoying it. I think because it is so rigorous, the children feel really challenged, but they also feel really motivated to do it. Um, I think it's fast paced, but that keeps them interested. So we just finished the launch unit, and my students really enjoyed the constructive conversations. And we talked about how this is not just a reading skill, but this is a skill that we'll take with us in all of our subjects and into life. It it has been a bit overwhelming, but at the same time, we're all starting fresh. We're all starting all over again with this new curriculum. Um, I'm very excited about it. There's a lot of resources that are available to us. I'm very interested in expanding the learning for our, our students. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. You can, oh, you can reach in and there's something for everybody and it's not me trying to make something up or trying to pull something off the internet to see if it works. There's a lot of variety in the bag and you can gear, tear it towards each student's needs that they have. We're incorporating the science of reading into every classroom every single day, starting in kindergarten all the way up to sixth grade. So our essential question is the question that we get asked in the beginning of the unit and by the end of the unit we should be able to answer that question of how do we respond to nature? All right, I'm going to give you about two minutes on my timer. I think that the teachers got a really nice preview of what the whole year is going to look like in the launch unit, which kind of overwhelmed them at first. As we started unpacking unit one last week, they realized the launch unit was just an introduction to everything that's coming. And now that we're getting into the actual content units, they have a lot more time to focus on one skill at a time in each area of phonics, comprehension, um, vocabulary, all that. The supports that I'm primarily providing is definitely, you know, making sure they have access to that whole group instruction. You know, they are getting the content, they're getting the lesson. And if we have to uh, provide, you know, certain accommodations or modifications, you know, that's very accessible through the program. And then, you know, during those built-in um, small group lessons, I'm able to provide, you know, intervention or reteaching, collaborating with my co-teacher. Uh, so we are able to, I think, uh, provide access to all learners. So it's really, I think, is that equity that we uh, really strive for in uh, FCPS. My favorite thing about teaching first grade especially is like the reading and seeing their confidence grow. It's great for them to come to school and say at home over the weekend I was able to read words with magic E or words with diagraphs so that's really great and that's really heartwarming and it, it kind of answers my why of why I teach.